I don't know if it's just me or you guys also notice this that whenever there's a new episode, there's packet loss in the game every single time. As you can see in the background, I am playing a death match and packet loss is spiking to 78%. Most of the match, the packet loss was around 40 to 78. If you also face the same issues, don't worry, I got you. If you follow the steps that I show you in this video, your packet loss will go from this to this. And it's the same death match, by the way. By changing the settings that I will show you, you will be able to bring it down to 0%. If you have any questions or doubts regarding anything, join my discord and obviously you can ask me there only two percent of you are subscribed so yeah do subscribe to the channel and let's get started okay so let's get over with the super basic stuff first up is unplug your router and turn it back off after 30 seconds that is restarting your router second thing if you are on wi-fi try using ethernet if you can and third thing is use less devices on the same network if your Wi-Fi is being used by multiple devices, limit the number of devices so Valorant can get enough bandwidth. Okay, so if you have done all this and there are still packet loss issues, let's move on to some actual stuff. Uh, another thing is that you can try out exit lag. It helps you reduce your ping and sometimes packet loss as well, but it is paid. And I don't think you guys are here to see me tell you about a paid software to fix your problems, right? So let's move on to some settings that you can change to fix the packet loss issue for free obviously. Now let's start doing some real stuff that will actually make a difference. Go to your search bar and type control panel. In here, go for network and internet settings. And now network and sharing center. Then click on change adapter settings. In here, this is my connection as you can see. Just right click and go to properties. In here. If in your case, IPv6 is selected and IPv4 is not selected, go ahead and check IPv4 and unselect IPv6. Once it is done, hit OK. Next thing, what you can do is obviously go to properties again. In here, double click on IPv4 and you will open up properties. And you have to change your DNS here. So just check, use the following DNS server address. And in here, put 8888. And on the alternate DNS server, put 8844. So, okay, this DNS is for Google, and there's another DNS that is for Cloudflare. You can actually compare the speed by going to command prompt, just type cmd, run as admin, and just type ping 8.8.8.8. Okay, so the average is 3. And now just type ping 1.1.1.1. And so as you can see, my average is lower for the Google DNS, whereas for Cloudflare DNS, it is four. So obviously I'm gonna choose the lower one. So let's select the 8.8.8 .8 and we have already selected that one. But if in your case, it is the Cloudflare one that is lower, you can just go ahead and change it to 1.1.1.1 and on the alternate dns you have to set it to 1.0.0.1 but for me it is google dns so i'm going to use google one by putting in here 8888 and 8844 hit ok ok and then you can go ahead and restart your pc next thing go to the search bar and type cmd again run as admin and then just type ip config space slash slash dns successfully flush the dns resolve cache as you can see this restores connectivity issues barely affects speed but basically connectivity issues are resolved so you can just go ahead and flush your dns next thing is go to the search bar again this time type firewall and you will see allow an app through windows firewall click this option and try to find the right client here as you can see i have right client already added and just in case you do not have right client added you can just click change settings go to allow another app and then locate the right client go ahead and locate the right client and add it here once it is added you can just go ahead and click ok and then it will be done 
Another thing is to close background apps. I mean, the ones that that are eating up your network resources. Like if you have Steam or OneDrive running in the background, you can just go ahead and close them if you no longer need them. Let's just go to Task Manager and you will find every single task here. So let's see if we have OneDrive running. We don't have OneDrive running because I just close it every single time. And we do not have Steam running in the background, but if you have any of those apps running in the background that might be eating your network resources, go ahead and close them. One more thing is go to Google. Just don't mind the number of tabs. Go to settings. And in here you will see system. So this option is on by default. So go ahead and close this. Continue running background apps when Google Chrome is closed. Go ahead and close this one. If you do all this and it still doesn't work, which is not likely to happen at all because these settings will actually fix this. But just in case, if it doesn't help, just go to the search bar and type reset and you will see network reset here. Go ahead and press this reset now button. It can resolve many underlying issues and bring back network to its initial state. Now that you have fixed your packed loss issue, time to fix your high average ping and network problem by clicking on this video right here. And if this video helps, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't and hit the bell as well. Thanks for watching.